for this quick video, I'll be walking you through how to theme your website. And for this one, I'll show you how to add a dark and light mode to your website. I'll be sharing with you a roughly same technique I am currently using for the before semicolon.com for dark and light mode. Show me your support by liking this video and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on anything. Now, let's jump into it. I have here a simple markup for this example. It is a simple H1 tag with before semicolon text, a Lauren Ipsum paragraph, an image tag with an image link I found on Google, and a CTA button with some bogus text. On the CSS side, a simple body style with a white background and the dark text. As usual, I box size border box everything. I also force any image to take 100% of available space. I have the simple button style, check my button video for some cool button tricks, and finally my CTA button with a white text on a blue background. So if you want to theme your website, the first thing you need to do is remove any hard-coded values for color. You can even theme padding, margin, border, position, anything really. The first thing we need is create a default theme with CSS variables on the root. I'll create one for the background and text color. I'll also create variables for our CTA background and text color. I'll also create the same for default button background and text color. Now I'll replace any of this value with these variables values using the var function to set them. Like that anything works and look the same but using variables that we can control now. There is a way to use CSS to detect if the user prefers dark or light mode. We can use media query for prefers color scheme of value dark. When that's the case, we will copy the root variables and change them to values matching the theme, in this case, dark. So I'll flip the values from text and background color. And like that, the text and the background change because I prefer dark mode. I have set it in the browser and on my laptop. I'll continue the changes by giving this CTA button a different background and text color, then flip the default button background and text colors as well. And like that, we have created our dark theme. Your website will look appropriately according to the user color theme preference set. But maybe you want to give our users the ability to switch to whatever mode they feel like. And for that, I'll simply add a button with label of dark mode, which the user can manually toggle the color mode. Uh, the label of this button is wrong because the default theme is light, which this button with the label of dark mode was supposed to switch to. But we can actually use this preferred color scheme media query to set this button text using pseudo element. But I want to show you another way to detect this user color scheme preference using JavaScript. Let's handle this button click first. I'll first get a hold on this button then create a temp function to handle this theme toggling which takes the button and the optional theme to set then on button click i'll call this function passing the button inside i'll first grab the current theme which is the attribute i'll set on the html tag the css root refers to html tag in the document we can access it in the document as property document element and i want to get the theme attribute on it now we check if the theme is light or there is no current theme attribute, which is the case now since we haven't set it, or if the current theme is light. We will change the button text to light mode, else dark mode. Also, I'll set the theme attribute on the HTML accordingly. If we click on the button, nothing happens, so we need to handle it on the CSS side. And we will apply the dark theme when the root has the attribute theme of value dark. Now, if you click the button, the theme of the page goes from dark to light accordingly. But I also want to apply the right theme according to the user's preference and be able to toggle it. So inside the media query body, I'll apply the dark mode as long as the root does not have the theme of the value of light. And now it just works, but the button label is still messed up on load. So in the JavaScript, we can check the match media on window and try to match prefers color scheme of dark. Then if that's the case, I'll call the toggle theme function with the button and the theme of dark. It seems like it does not work still. Oh, okay. I need to wrap this inside parentheses. 
Now, unload the button says light mode in a dark theme. Let me comment it out and reapply so you can see the button change text. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like this video to support me. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Once again, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.